Greetings and salutations. My name is Tisha and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is testing Tuesday. <laughs> that means that we're going to be testing out some new ideas, some new theories, some, well, not any new product tonight, but I have an idea. And I've had this idea floating in the back of my head for a while. So we are going to be using this EB tiny Fiona cup. Yes, mine is very dirty because that's just how I roll. <laughs> I don't do dishes unless I have to. And there's no clumps on here. I sprayed it down with water so everything's nice and smooth. So um, anywho, we're going to do this itty bitty cup on a big 20 by 20 canvas. So yeah. Yeah, go big or stay home. Or wait. That's what she said. <laughs> so I've got the canvas ready. It's off to the side. But I'm going to show you really quick the colors I'm going to be using. And then I want to get them out of the way, kind of, because I have a theory. And if my theory works, it might work for some other ideas that I have that we'll do here on Testing Tuesday. But before I bring out the big canvas... Let's say hello to my love, my darling, my executive producer, Mr. Michael Jean Gardner. Hello? Yeah, that's called dramatic pause. Yes. <laughs> hello. How is everyone? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I don't think you, I think we turned off the, the A speaker in uh, voice meter. Oh, okay. So we won't hear the echo because it's distracting. No. <laughs> You, you, no, you, no, your microphone's still on. You just muted it. Oh. There. Now they should be able to hear you. Well, we'll we'll see. Can anyone hear me? <laughs> I'll just ask. We'll go from there. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Tuesday. So glad you're here. Doing some testing and a little trivia. Maybe some trivia. We can talk Michael into it. Mm. Um, before we start with trivia and saying hello to the chat, let me go over the colors that I'm going to be using really quick, and I'll get the colors on the canvas while we say hello to everybody and do the chit chat thing. So um, I've got my, I'm using mixed pouring medium tonight. So shout out to Krista and Debbie. Love you, ladies. Um, thank you for making a phenomenal product. Um, Tonight we're using Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green, uh, Pearl Chartreuse from Arteza. This is Rustoleum's Glacier Blue, which is a really pretty ice blue. And you know what? Everybody's sick of ice and snow, but I'm thinking spring here. So this goes with the colors. And then um, Arteza Violet and uh, Red Flash from DecoArt. So... Um, I just wanted to be able to move these big bottles out of the way. We're going to be using the bottles as well, but I figured the less I have on my table, the less likely I am going to spill something. That is that is the theory anyways. So, anywho. So, Michael, who do we have in chat? Well, we have, as always, our lovely moderators. We have Doris, Doris at DF Designs, and Cheryl. Yay! So thankful for everything that they do and of course we have the usual suspects that are here tonight there is rookie cookie brook g artistry <laughs> mona art flow by mo hey mo there's krista krista's here tonight hey, krista. <laughs> hey there's the man the myth the legend jeff b hail jeff b hello jeff <laughs> And I see Rochelle is here tonight. Hey, Rochelle. <laughs> Angela is here. Mixed Media Arts of 2021. Hey, Angela. And let's see. Virginia Setlock is here. Hey, Virginia. <laughs> there is Diane McDivitt. Diane and Tony. Hi, guys. And Mary Lou is here. Hey, Mary Lou. Michelle Yates. Michelle Yates is abstract art. Hey, Michelle. And I did see Cynthia. My big cakes. She is here. Hey, Cynthia. So glad you're joining us. And uh, 
there's Deb, D and D Art Gallery. Hey Deb. And um, 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 I think I think that's everyone. But if I left somebody out, please let me know in the chat. I'll give you a shout out. Absolutely. Hello to everyone. I am so excited for tonight. Um, hope everyone is safe and healthy out there. I know a lot of people are without power, without heat. Um, this is a time when propane is your friend. <laughs> so all kinds of life hacks out there yeah. to help out with things. So definitely bring out care. the camping gear is basically all, you know, yeah. that's, that's what I keep telling people. It's like, I have a cook stove, not because I like to go camping, but because I've had power outages before. And, <clears throat> and you know, it's not recommended to use it as a heat source, but you know what? If it comes down to it, you know, that's what you got to do. Rough stuff out there, definitely. Yeah. Arctic blast, a lot of people in Texas dealing with a lot of weather that they normally don't have. Yes. And so we send our love and prayers to everyone there. Out in North Carolina, South Carolina, a lot of treacherous weather took place. Yeah. We were talking to Diane about that this morning. Um, a lot of devastation, some death. So once again, yeah. our love and prayers for everyone out on the East Coast with that. We dealt with Sunday morning heat, heat issues ourselves. Yeah, we and the furnace went out. Yeah, and so we had to see about getting uh, things taken care of on Monday morning. And luckily, we're... We're back with heat, so. Yeah. It made for an interesting Valentine's Day between the snow and the furnace going out and a migraine. Yeah, it was a very interesting Valentine's Day. <laughs> but speaking of Texas and snow and all the shenanigans, um, just wanted to let everybody know that Thursday morning has been postponed until next Thursday. Clara is dealing with all the stuff because she lives in Texas. And she just wants to make sure that her parents are okay and and everything. So she they're they're doing all that they can to help out there, and um, they they are having on and off electricity issues and heat issues. And um, I got a phone call from her while I was preparing supper. So um, she's safe and everybody's healthy, but. Um, she can't make it on Thursday, so I'm like, well, what's Thursday morning without Miss Clara? So I just postponed it because I got to have my Clara time. <laughs> and all of this will have blown over by then, I hope. Goodness gracious. It is still winter. Yeah. You know, it's kind of Mother late Nature's in fickle. the year, but yeah. A little bipolar. Hey, Joanne's in the chat saying hello, all. Hello, Joanne. Yeah. And from Biz Brisbane, Australia, we have Debbie Rivet. Well, hello. Hello, Debbie. They're even having weird weather. They're having like super hot weather uh, over in Australia, like record-setting heat and stuff. That's what I. That's what I heard, anyways. I don't know. I, I don't live there. <clears throat> but yeah it's really really warm okay so my thought is if i make this paint and the reason why i'm using mix is because it holds the paint so well and you can thin it out really well and it still retains its color really well unlike floetrol and glue it gets kind of murky so my theory is if i put it thin enough on the first layer and then do the regular medium thickness on the second layer I should be able to have this work so um, I'm gonna put some white down here just so we have something to flow on I'm gonna grab one of these virgin sticks here <laughs> I'm just going to move some of this around. And this is, um, I, I would say this is Dutch pour consistency, so a trace of one at best. Um, just because I want the paint to flow. I need a little bit more. 
gonna put a little bit here and here and here and here. See Julie in the chat. Acrylic painting with Julie. Julie, e. Julie, Julie. Ah! Says I'm back. It's a um, little bit of some internet conductivity. She said that a new cell tower at the end of the block has been erected. Oh. Julie said erect. Julie said erect. Ah! <laughs> Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. She's using big words again, Miss Smarty Pants. Oh, there's Janice. Hey, Janice Pittman. <laughs> okay, so it, you guys, I also wanted to bring to your attention. Um, there is a poll out there on YouTube for the channel here asking you what uh, programming, I like to say what shows. I always say like shows because I think of them as TV shows. You know, we, we have a certain purpose and a certain point to all of them. And um, I just, I want to see who, what which ones are your favorites. Um, so far, Artapalooza is is a, is a crowd favorite, but you know I want to make sure that you're finding value in all the programming that we're offering you, because if you're not, then we want to you know maybe make some changes. So please go and vote on that poll. You can find it on our community tab. Um, if you don't know how to find the community tab, one will be appointed to you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it is if you go to the home page of this channel and you see the little the little headings at the top of the page one says home one says videos one says playlists and the next one says community click on that community word and it'll bring up the community posts and you know what honey you moved when we were doing the furnace thing this weekend you moved my box of rags so <laughs> yep i'm ragless well, I know where they're at. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna grab those out. Okay. I'd appreciate also, that. just uh, a bit of information. Brooke says, "Do not let your children watch American Ninja Warrior or Wipeout. <laughs> <laughs> Creates issues." <laughs> Mary Lou asks, "What kind of issues?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially for your daughter. <laughs> She is your child, Brooke. She is your child. Okay, so as Michael steps away, I cannot see chat. So if there are any questions, please wait till he gets back. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's in the chat. We're good. Be right back. Okay, so my success in having these turn out the way I do um is to layer some white down first so it has a flow extender built in novel concept okay so put that there and i put these in the wrong order let's see so we're going to do the greens first and then the blue and then the red and then the purple thank you my love I appreciate you so much. Just yeah, just put them here in the right there. There we go. In the chair where I usually sit. Okay, so this is fifty grams, which is about about two ounces of paint, and I've watered it down. Let's see if the green will show. I've watered it down to a one. So this is like Dutch pour consistency, okay? So I'm gonna pour it right in the middle. Julie is sharing in the chat. She jumped off the garage roof of a big piece of plastic thinking I'd float down like a cartoon character. What are you doing? She's crazy. Mm, wow. What exactly happened after that? 
She's landed with a big pooch. Thank you, Krista. Thank you, Krista. Awesome, awesome. She is. Yes, we are going to... Super sticker from Krista. Thank you so much, Krista. I appreciate you. Okay. We're going a little bit wonky here. So we're going to try pouring a little bit slower. Sam jumped in and said, howdy all. She can't stay very long. No internet due to the weather issues. She just wanted to say hello. Hello, hello. Disco Dabo. Thank you, Jeff. You know, we're trying to figure out exactly where that came from. I know where Dabo came from, which is actually from Star Trek Deep, Deep Space Nine. And it got, you know, kind of worked into uh, some some lives. But I don't know. We were all kind of doing the disco thing. I guess we just put them together. I remember, I remember something like that. It. I remember doing I the we kind of, the hands in chat. I think we were doing the YMCA, and then all of a sudden we started thinking about disco. Okay, I think I might have too much paint here. But... Saturday Night Live episode, Tom Hanks goes, disco, disco. But, uh, yeah, warm hugs to everyone. During the winter weather or cool breezes to those, I think uh, that's one of the things Debbie was talking about in Australia, unseasonably warm. How about some trivia? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone game? Bueller? Bueller? Mmm. What are they saying in chat, Michael? Do they want the trivia? I don't know. I haven't. No responses yet. What the heck? I thought everybody came for the trivia. Okay, I think this, I think I need to move this because I think my thing is not quite level. Oh, dude. Okay. Need to move some bottles. Okay, let's see. Speaking of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, here's here's an easy one. What was the song Ferris Bueller sang during the parade? I can't say it. I've only seen it like a hundred thousand times. Name that tune. Yeah, there I you was go, on David. Oh, Name this is going to be sad. This is be sad. Actually, you just kind of panamize, panamize, panamize. Ugh. All right, we're just going to roll with it. It's not going to be perfect. Jeff, it is Taco Tuesday as well. So, indulge. We went with uh, chips, queso. Yeah, I made a so tacos and a nacho cheese dip with beef and tomatoes and chili. Is like a chili cheese thing. Okay. All so right, Diane's got it. The Beatles, "Twist and Shout." That wasn't it, Donkashin. That's another one. Twist and Shout, The Beatles, Dunk of Shane. So, with that version of Dunk of Shane, who was the singer? And First Bueller's Day Off. When they were playing Dunk of Shane. Who was it being sung by? I'm sad because I didn't have my canvas level, but you know what? This might look up kind of cool still, so I'm not going to get too hurt about it. Well, Cynthia Matthew Broderick is the actor, but Wayne Newton, very good. Doris, Diane, Mona. That was Wayne Newton doing Dunk of Shane. It's 
So we were watching The Monsters. <laughs> Classic TV show. So what is the address of the house that the, monst the Monsters lived in? The, the, their address of their house. Oh, Cynthia, I got you. You thought you were talking about the actor. Well, I understand. So, question now is the address of the house of the Munsters lived in. Oh, Christina Welch is here. Hey, Christina. Hey, Christina. Fantastic. 1313 Mockingbird, Mark, Mockingbird Lane. Yep. Good job. Jeff, Julie, Virginia, Denise. Good job. Here's one. Name the actor that played Grandpa on the Monsters. Edmund and Gwen played Herman Munster. Who played Grandpa? Grandpa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well... Julie says Ted Cruz. You know what? Oh my God! <laughs> Good try, Julie. Love that answer. But the correct answer, <laughs> and Virginia got it, Al Lewis. <laughs> Jeff says, I, I always like Spot. Me too. I love Spot. I like Marilyn. Marilyn Munster. Because she was just as creepy as everybody else, but she looked normal. So let's switch it up. Let's talk about the Adams family. Tish. Hey. So we talked about the address for the Munsters. How about the address for the Adams family? What was the address? Hey, Sam, there we go. Adam's family. What's the address of the house for the Adam's family? Mm. Morticia. That's what they called me in high school. And they were trying to be mean, too. It was funny because they were trying to be mean. And I'm like, thank you, because Morticia Adams is awesome. So screw you guys. Okay, this is going to be challenging because the canvas wasn't even. I thought it was, but that's what I get for thinking. I've been in baking mode for the last two days, so yeah. So what we're going to do. Definitely, she's been cooking. She's been in the kitchen. Christina Welch. Yes. Cemetery Lane, yeah. Now there's a number. Anyone... Does anyone know what the number is on Cemetery Lane? Two numbers, four digits. Way to go, Christina. Yeah, actually, Janice, that's correct. It was 0001, 0001 Cemetery Lane. Krista was kind of close. Cynthia, my fox's baby cake, 666. <laughs> That's I what I that was would, actually thinking. That, that would have been perfect. I don't know if they could have done that back in the 60s. They probably they'd probably get their hineys in trouble. But. <laughs> Ooh. 
Love Lurch. You Lurch. And Thing. Thing was my favorite. Thing and Cousin It. Cousin It was a bomb. Okay. I think I'm going to do one more. Well, I'm going to tell you something. When Tish is in baking mode, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, I baked 12, two dozen banana blueberry muffins, and then I made uh, French bread from scratch. We made I made pancakes from scratch on Sunday before the migraine kicked in, and food. What else did I make, babe? Oh, um. Made French toast and omelets mm, yeah. for breakfast for brunch this morning because snow day. He was out shoveling and I wanted to make him something fresh and warm for when he came back in. Spent all day outside shoveling the driveway and the walks and everything and, and playing with Scout and, yeah, and Rhea. And Rhea. Rhea was inside, but she was still taking part. It was kind of funny. I couldn't figure out what she was, why she was going spastic. Turns out it was a dog. Rhea and, and Scout have actually met each other now. They've been hanging out a little bit, getting to know each other. Yeah, Rhea still like screw you guys. Rhea's kind of like hey, this guy's kind of cool. I'm kind of interested. And then she's like, all right, I'm done. Get away from me. Well, she's a cat. She changes her mind. She's a female. Ah! <laughs> so anyway, let's see. More trivia. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I actually, Krista was thinking about taking a leaf blower and uh, actually using some of that on the snow. It's very dry snow, so it was not, it, w it wasn't too bad at all. And actually the sun was out today. I took a wonderful picture of the sun up in the sky uh, on the treetop with the, with the snow, but we had, I mean, drifts that were like 14, 16 inches, so. Today's Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras. Food Tuesday. <laughs> That's what it translates to. So, like Jeff was talking about, not just Taco Tuesday, but Fat Tuesday. Okay, so everyone knows how I love James Bond 007. So here's a pretty good question. A lot of actors have played the character. Who was the very first actor? Oh, come on. The very first actor to play the part. And here's a hint. It is not Sean Connery. Who was the first person hired? Or who was the first person? Yeah, you can say that. First person hired and actually to do the character. It's a little known. Well, I, won't, I don't want to say a little. David Niven's a good guess. Deb, d, &D Art Gallery it is not David Niven. Really, Krista, Eric, is a huge Bond fan. That is cool. Uh, Jeff, Dr. No was the very first movie within the Eon Productions that was done by Albert Broccoli and Harry Salzman, but no. No to Dr. No. But, I mean, that that is the first movie, but this would be the first of James Bond. It was on Daniel Craig... <laughs> I don't even think Daniel Craig was born yet. No. No, not yet. But And David Niven is a good guess because David Niven played uh, 007 in 1967 in Casino Royale. And actually, what I'm talking about is a presentation of Casino Royale. 
Oh, so you're not even really talking movie movies, like the franchise. Michael Caine. Hmm. Interesting. Julie, no. Virginia. Got it. Very good, Virginia. Virginia, did you have to look it up? <laughs> Did you Google it? She Googled it. Did you Google it? No one knows as much about you. I, you know why I screwed this up? I were screwed you, this up a good, couple of times. Were you uh, it? I didn't put any more white down. Oh, well. I got enough. That's really cool. All right. Yes, actually, Sean Connery, Dr. No, was the very first James Bond movie. But before that, Ian Fleming actually sold the rights to uh, CBS. Boo, CBS. Yes, CBS did a live presentation of Casino Royale on a uh, program called Climax. It's in black and white. Barry Nelson actually played the part of James Bond, but they reworked the whole thing and they actually referred to him as Jimmy Bond. <coughs> yep. Brooke said she was Googling it. <laughs> and it's not that fantastic of a presentation. And then Lashif uh, was actually played by Peter Lorre. And then whenever they did Casino Royale in 1967, which was a spinoff by Sony Productions, uh, um, David Niven was playing the part at 007. And, um, oh, geez, Le Chiffre was played by um, Orson Welles. Michael, you've got your Crocs on, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because this is going to get spun, but very gently. But I cannot account for any droplets that might be gone awry. Okay. So, put this over. Oop. This over here. And, and Brooks wanting some 70s, 80s uh, music trivia. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sean Connery definitely set the tone. I mean, um, he was just who they went with. You know, Ian Fleming wasn't even interested in him. And producer said no he's he's the one that we've picked that's who we're going with terrence young actually directed the first two movies and um the fourth movie thunderball and really created sean connery into that role george lazenby is really good i mean george lazenby is actually pretty awesome he's very good <laughs> you know that's a very underrated movie on her majesty's secret service uh diana riggs uh the first of Tracy. Uh, the movie's very true to the book, which is really, really cool. But absolutely, I will definitely have some 60s, 70s, and 80s music trivia. That is that is a must. I will throw some of that together. Okay. Oh, Tony knew the answer. Okay. I I I, I can see that. Tony would know the answer. Barry Nelson playing the part of Jimmy Bond. Here, I'll throw, I'll throw out music trivia for you. This is B.B. King, uh, blues artist, one of the greats. What's the name of his guitar? I know this one. Name. 
name the guitar. Lucille. Very good. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Krista, actually. Krista, Lucille. Yes. How did it get named Lucille? I don't know. Somebody find out. Let's look that up. Jelly Duck 100 is here. You spin me right round, baby, right around. <laughs> yeah. All right. Name that group. Uh, Flock is, no, not Flock of Seagulls. You spin me right round, baby, right round. And it's not Adam Sandler singing in The Wedding Singer, though he does. So he does. Though yes. he does, but who is who is the the group? All right, I'm doing it one more time. I keep saying that, but there's like one spot that I'm trying to get to go over the edge, and it just won't go. But this gives me hope. It, it may not look like a fantasy flower per se. But it looks, it, it does look kind of cool. It does look really cool. And Michael, you, you're not going to want to turn around for a moment. <laughs> it's a good thing you went and got the rags because it's a little bit of a, a puddle. It's not very big. It's just a splat. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we won't go there. <laughs> so, Julie Brooke, you're close. You're close. It's... The band is called Wanted Dead or Alive. But that's, yeah, that's it. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, here. and as it starts. I'm going to wipe this up before it dries. <laughs> starts wiping like it up. Still a bleed. And I don't want you to step in it. Wow, Angela, you used to go to Studio 54 in New York City. Really? You actually were at the actual Studio 54. Wow. I still wish CBGB's was open still. Yeah, that would that, be awesome. That was, that, was, that was my place that I wanted to be. Okay. Where's my thingy? I want to pull this just there. No. So there's a song in the movie 16 Candles. <laughs> The song is called True. T R U E, True. Name the group from the 80s. Shiza. Is that... No, that's not it. Don't listen to me. Is looking amazing. And you know, here's the thing that I love about Mix is a lot of these right here where it looks like it can be muddy, it's going to dry like levels. Like here, it looks kind of like it can be, it's going to be muddy, but it's going to dry with levels of color. So it's just going to add depth. It's not going to look muddy. Uh, especially the red flash being an opaque and this violet is a set is a semi-transparent so it's gonna they're gonna do their little fluctuation thing and come out awesome in the end so shoot there we go so <laughs> um i'm gonna torch this one more time okay. and and yes, it is Spandau Ballet. Very good, Brooke and Julie. Okay. Brooke says that as a teen, she went to Little Five Points. Spot in the land. 
that her dad dragged her away from there many times. <laughs> yeah, I can see your dad doing that. Okay, so we gotta fix some of this a little bit. He used to go to Teen Town. There we go. All right. So. I'm loving the colors. We need to find, I guess we'll just use the mixing cups because that's all the big cups I've got. All right. So. Cheryl, I agree. If you actually remember things like that, that's, that's good. <laughs> Some people can't remember a lot of things if they went to parties, concerts. Rook, I just died in your arms tonight. What what group? What group did that song? Okay. All right. Let's give you guys a closer close-up. Now I got paint all over my arm. <laughs> this is why I don't take a shower till after the lives. <laughs> all right, here we go. As close up as I can get without hitting the microphone. There's some really cool stuff going on in here, especially the center. I'm not touching it. I'm just gonna let it be. But let's see if I can bring that center in and these cells and lacing and cool stuff just going on. And that purple is just gonna, I just, I'm so excited. But look at those cells right there. That's so cool. And we'll see how this white dries. There's just so much potential for awesomeness right here. All right. Okay, sorry, I don't I try not to go. This is a heavy monster, okay, y'all? <laughs> and I've been baking, my arms are tired. So, that dad would be proud of me. <laughs> All right, okay, so we're gonna bring it back around here. This is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And I would say, that a fancy flower pour on 20 by 20 canvas is plausible. It's all about finding that right consistency. And going with it. So this actually showed me that my idea for another painting would work. So I'm excited for that. And you will be seeing that uh, hopefully next week. Um, this needs to come up a little bit. I don't know why. I think this canvas is blurred, actually, to be truthful. If I'm going to be completely honest now. There we go. I think that's I think that's good. And I'm just gonna let them drip off the sides. I'm not gonna worry about the sides. I'm gonna let it drip, do its thing. And we will catch you tomorrow night. Wednesday night is Artapalooza. Uh, Thursday night has been postponed due to weather. Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Did I say Wednesday morning? You said Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday morning is going to be postponed due to weather issues. Um, and Friday night flip cup. I, <laughs> I, I hope it, Brooke survives the week <laughs> so he can do Friday night flip cup. If you haven't seen the color palette. She's going to listen to some 80s tunes and she's going to be just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> if her, her and Julie. 
haven't seen the color palette, it is on that same community tab that the, the poll is on. So go check that out or join our group on Facebook. It is a comment in there. I got to go in there and pin it. I got to pin that comment so y'all can find it. Um, anywho, thank you all so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you. Everybody thank stay you. safe, especially exactly. out driving on the roads. It's not you. It's the other guy yes. or other yes. gal person out there. Yes. So, and stay warm. Yes. Lo love everyone. Thank you. Yes. And remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.